This is FFPÖ, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to a new episode of FFPÖ. My name is Paul and this is the 62nd episode recorded on the 15th of November 2017 and he's back guys after uh, a short hiatus a short break Ali is back in the house bitches I'm back in the house bitch yeah for the close comp uh, close contact episode <laughs> we we bring in the close contact yeah this time. guys yeah yeah last this time we had up close and personal yeah last time we weren't close contact this time we're close contact. yeah that's why I bought this couch man just so I can hang out with my next time it's like gonna this. be one seat and he'll be on my lap <laughs> I'll be on his lap did you know we, we, we don't bring, know yeah we're both have to tune in to see <laughs> <laughs> it's a very special <laughs> <laughs> it's a very special chair where you can sit on each other's laps at the, at same, the same time. time. Yeah, it's, it's like it's a it's a space it's a it's a chair that exists in time and space. Yeah, using outside. Quantum, yeah, qu using newest cutting edge quantum physics. We're yes. Gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll merge the two parallel universes. One where he's sitting on my lap. The other where I'm sitting on his lap. We're gonna merge those two bad boys and we're gonna record it for you. Yeah. So that's, tune in next time. Uh huh. Good. <laughs> Great idea. Don't 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 bother with this one because <laughs> yeah. this one is not. We, uh, we're yeah, gonna see, but it, yeah, it was, because <laughs> we watched we watched Unknown, uh, the 2011 Unknown movie of Liam Neeson. Seriously, I like I had to do do a deep Google to find find this movie. Nobody remembers sometimes, this movie. Sometimes there's movies that from should years be forgotten, ago and 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 you're like, why is no one watched this movie. It's a jewel. It's hidden, you know, amongst all the other mm -hmm. releases. Yeah. This is not one of those no, movies. No, this this is, is not, this, this is not. No, no, this is where you at first pick it up and you're like, oh, this is a jewel. But then it turns out it's just a piece of plastic that kind of looks like a jewel from afar. <laughs> but in reality, it's, you know, something that the, the English used to buy off your people, you know, <laughs> for your country. It's like, <laughs> it's like you're... It, it's like you're, you 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 see a DVD at Saturn, whatever, and you think to yourself, "Hey, that's that uh, Taken movie, you know, that everyone's talking about." Yeah. It's the um, the poster is exactly the same. It's just Liam Neeson staring at a forty five degree angle, you know, off the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> off the thing. They've put in, you know, some black and white shading into his face and then the thing. And anyways, so you buy it, and then you think yeah. it's Taken. It's not Taken. No, I mean, it's it's not even. Okay, so it, it Taken came out before this. I think Taken was 2010, I think. Mm -hmm. So that's what where it kicked it off. So this was right on the heels of that. You know, they, they were like, oh, we have to pump out those Liam Neeson being a badass movie movies. And we... Ah, <laughs> oh, this movie. All right, let's move on to our first segment. I, ge I guess. I guess we have to do this. I guess we have to. <laughs> I, I guess. I'm not looking forward to this, man. I'm not uh, looking forward to this. This was, this was again. It has a 55% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, so very much average. You know, it it has 6.9, I think, on IMDb. Again, very average for IMDb. That's very average, and they still managed somehow <laughs> to make the first 50% of the movie intriguing as yes. hell. And then it got really dumb, I would really even, quickly. I would say like even seventy percent, about seventy, in my opinion, yeah. seventy percent was quite. Uh, it was. It was not fifty-five percent. I mean, it, it was not. It was not eighty. It was <laughs> possibly closer to seventy percent. It, it was, was not even the third Bond movie or the fourth Bond movie. Even the yeah. fourth one, where they don't even fucking have him have in it. it. Yeah, it's. It's yeah. still a better movie than this, in my <laughs> opinion. That's just you know. This is <laughs> okay. <that's Lots>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it starts off with. Uh, so let me tell you a positive thing. It starts off and uh, Liam Neeson. Introduces <laughs> that's, that's a positive thing. It starts off. <laughs> it doesn't even start okay, off on so a good note. It just starts. So, so it has does have to have an end, which means we have <laughs> through this movie at some point. So, so the two things that that 
that really like si- when you get tortured and like oh this is shitty but the torture will end <laughs> at some point i know that <laughs> all right so let's suffer through this it has a start <laughs> sorry so usually, i'm getting hostile so usually liam neeson movies for unknown reasons for I unknown get reasons <laughs> <laughs> so uh so uh, liam neeson the first thing i noticed which was a positive thing was he wasn't a drunk he wasn't yeah. drinking and his family was still alive. He was actually on the plane with his wife. Yeah. And they were well, very happy. Well, again, we don't know. Yeah. Because and we can a, totally spoil the, the, the plot. Second, the second thing, though, it, the, that I thought was positive was that uh, it uh, it didn't start. Wait, I think this is related to the first thing. But it didn't yeah. start with him being uh, being like super. Uh, sorry, being. Sorry, so the second thing was that he, he he's he's a he. Early, he establishes that he's a doctor yes. and not an agent yeah. or a policeman or a cop of anything. Which yeah, was yeah. all those Taken movies that came after that are yeah, still yeah. being released to this day. Yeah, they he's all start always with him make him drinking, badass. Drinking and he's like already a secret agent. Yeah. So, so those were the two things where I thought, okay, this might be an original movie. So. <laughs> this might be, but nope. No, <laughs> then, so the plot turn continues. it around at the end. <laughs> Instead of having something creative to do, the plot twist is, oh yeah, he's 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 just a he's just a badass, you know. His, his this is okay. It's so it's like they brought it back to, like they took all the beginnings of all those Taken movies and they put it at the end. The, but yeah, seriously, I already forgot like a third of the plot. This is there there's there's so many plot holes in this one that I don't even know what is real and what is not at this point, you know? It's a bit like it's the movie where he didn't know we have, who the fuck We have a was. Nazi, not a Nazi, a sh- we have Hitler. Stasi? Hitler. Stasi? We had a Hitler. Hitler playing a Stasi. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bruno Ganz, the guy who played uh, uh, Hitler in Der Untergang, plays... Das war ein Befehl! <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe, maybe a, a, f- a, f- a future project for... For oh, yeah. this, for the, for FFP. True. I mean, Hitler was an Austrian, so <laughs> it kind of works. <laughs> <laughs> so Hitler is in this movie, uh, not really Hitler, you know. Not yeah, 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 yeah. It's 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 a it's a. He's th- he's not playing a fascist. He's playing, uh, uh, what was it? A communist. We're, we're, we're jumping around here. Like a the first thing that yeah. happens is a car crash. That's true. Yeah. So anyway, so th- the movie starts. He's in a loving relationship with yeah. his wife, who, by the way. They did a very fabulous job uh-huh. establishing how evil she is because she <laughs> she 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 chides her husband for helping the taxi driver uh, with the luggage, and then afterwards during their hotel check-in, she's making a big fuss about the fact that they've been uh, checked into not the imperial room but the executive room. Yeah. So like. Already within the first three minutes, we knew this bitch is a, is evil because she's, you know, she has no regard <laughs> very, for taxi drivers yes. and for very unlikable know, from the beginning. Very unlikable, yeah. No, she doesn't care about concierge, the hotel. Yeah. Concierge, she's screaming at everyone. So, you know, they did a great, great job establishing. Yeah. You know her 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 person. We the, never think about her uh, about her like, yeah, dude, go back to her. She might be your real wife. We don't know. Yeah. You know? Nope. Nope. We are always the flee, audience, motherfucker. The flee. audience is on uh, on his side right from the beginning because yeah. his wife is a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and again, General Jones might be a, a, a lovely woman, and but her character here is quite unlikable. Yeah. It is, it is magnificent how sometimes screenwriters make certain characters even the, if... Like, she's she is supposed to be portrayed as a loving wife. So mm-hmm. if she really went with her cover story and wasn't a useful agent, which, by the way, she isn't. She's she is not. F- she's garbage. She's garbage. She's, she's taken what? out by herself. She kills herself, basically, which is the most... Bitch ass way. Unagent thing yeah, to do. Yeah, because she's paired with like what's supposed to be the best agent ever. Like they wouldn't. No, we, we, we shouldn't jump around though. We should start from the beginning. <laughs> we should cut. So, anyway. So, I'm getting so angry. So, <laughs> so Liam Neeson forgets his uh, uh, briefcase at the airport. Yeah. So, before he goes into the hotel, he calls a taxi and uh, they take him back to the airport. And while sh- the taxi is driving, there's a car crash. Yeah. Also, how did... Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> a fridge... What was it? Yeah, so the 
Paul went to make some popcorn. Yeah, sorry, man. No, no, it's cool. It's uh, the popcorn was way better than the movie. So, <laughs> <laughs> so but anyway, so he missed shout his out card. to shout out to microwave popcorn for being better than this movie. Possible sponsor. Yeah, Possible off sponsor? brand, off brand, <laughs> off brand popcorn. popcorn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Buy bootleg, that off, bot <laughs> bootleg popcorn. Shout out uh, to bootleg popcorn. The real villains behind any <laughs> major crime organization. <laughs> so you know uh, how much money is in corn? This movie is about <laughs> corn. Yeah. This in the oh end, my god. The, in they the got end, us, man. They, they, got, they us. got us. <laughs> they incepted us with the idea of corn. Oh, <laughs> this movie is evil. It's awesome. Anyway, so, <laughs> so he's uh so he gets into a car crash. Mm -hmm. Wakes up in a hospital, yeah, uh, and uh, insists that he has to get back to his wife. He's been for in a coma for four days. Once he reaches her, he sees someone else uh, pretending to be him. Yeah, and his wife also pretend is seems to not know who he is. So someone has taken over his personality. Yeah, and all his clo the people closest to him have forgotten who he is. Right. Yeah. 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 It, it <laughs> and he's in Berlin. Uh, which actually we never mentioned. Yeah. The whole movie. Oh yeah, the whole movie takes place in Berlin. The whole movie takes place in Berlin for so no he's reason. A, he's in a he's no reason. <laughs> well, he's in a strange city. They, yeah, he, yeah. They yeah. they just were like. Mm, he's in a Berlin. strange city and he and he doesn't. No, no one have, knows who he is. It basically. could have happened in any other city too. Hong mm -hmm. Kong, Vienna. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh fucking. Uh, yeah, but you know why he was in Berlin. Because uh -huh. the German government probably fucking paid for half the movie. <laughs> that's, how Mercedes, they, that's how they afforded, Mercedes and that's how, how they afforded all the money that yeah. Liam Neeson kept on summoning. <laughs> <laughs> he kept on summoning yeah. the money. What is he, a leech? He, was, like, he kind of was, though. <laughs> Bring me the money. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he, he doled out euros like, like, he, yeah. like he has he an infinity like pocket <laughs> that's just filled with random exactly. banknotes. And like... It was inconsistent too. Like sometimes he pulled out a fiver, <laughs> sometimes he pulled out a this stack of ten, uh, hundreds. You know, <laughs> he's uh, he's fucking rich in this yeah, movie. I know, right? uh, he, like every even after he woke up uh, out of the coma and th th there was no personal ID on him, he was like still able after leaving leaving um, his leaving the hospital the past, yeah yeah the hospital yeah, yeah well uh, by the way the austrian connection comes into play just to for, for right yeah okay. so it, to make it legit so he's in the FFP. hospital and uh the doctor comes in and karl makovic and asks him in very uh, austrian trying to be german german <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> real try hard uh, who real he is or something and then like and, school german and then when yeah. he starts speaking english i mean it's only clear to us yeah, but if, when he starts speaking German, he's clearly speaking with an Austrian accent. Yeah. So <laughs> sorry, when he's speaking English, English, yeah, he's he's clearly speaking with an Austrian accent. It's so, so funny. Yeah, Karl Markovic, shout shout out to you, boy. Great great movie. Great to have you in this. Possible sponsor for, be, for being one of the <laughs> Karl Markovic is. Dude, we gotta dig deep, man. We gotta yeah. start, start at the bottom. We gotta go for what we can get, man. <laughs> Karl Markovic is not the bottom. He probably he's got, one of he the highest paid Austrian actors <laughs> alive right now. Do you think Liam Neeson paid him? He just reached into his pocket <laughs> and gave him the money. Here, we are in this movie now for five minutes. Just come on, just come get, on. Here you go. Yeah, they're just personal friends. <laughs> Like he, he just takes out a wad of hundreds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, man. Oh, man. Yeah. So <laughs> he's released from the hospital. By the way, what, what, an, what, an, what a doctor. He, <laughs> after four days of being in the coma and awake for like a few hours, like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to sign you he's out. He's like, yeah, just sign just here. Yeah, just leave. Oh, Liam Neeson. Okay. Yeah. You, yeah. Can go. <laughs> <laughs> you look fit <laughs> enough. So uh, he goes out without any ID, anything, yeah. except for the card that the doctor gave him. Yeah. And. And all of a sudden he has money to yes, pay exactly. to pay people and yeah. for goods and services like he chucks a bunch of money at the cab driver for for once yeah but let's yeah. let's let's but let's keep in mind at this point the movie is actually pretty intriguing it's yes still good and yes it's still intriguing yes and there's because and the aside mysteries from, aside from the wife you know doing the thing that she yeah. would, she had done before we, we to establish that she's bad aside from that this movie is not using any kind of like cliches at this point it yeah that's true to, you know yeah aside from starting kind of like a born movie but still <laughs> other than that it's not like outright you know uh cliches and 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 boring scenes it yeah it's, it's actually yeah it's actually pretty good yeah at this point we're getting into that later yeah. so then but so then he's 
So then, so you got get manages to get to his wife in the hotel. She's doesn't know who he is. Yeah. Another man is there, and he's like, "I'm Doctor Harris, Steve Harris, or whatever." Mm. And he's like, "Oh, but I'm Doctor Steve Harris." But then the police obviously are are about to arrest him because you know the wife doesn't recognize him. Yeah. And and then he's like, "Oh no, I must be confused. Please just take me back to the hospital." And they're like, "All right, cool." And yeah. so they <laughs> give him some. Mo- they actually gave him money for the cab. Oh yeah, I right, think. right, right, right. Yeah. But how sure. much money did they? Give I don't him? know, man. This is crazy. So, so, so they gave him money for the cab or something, and then. Yeah, that's that's a cliche, right? And the, then he does the go back. Berlin to police just gives you money. If you <laughs> yeah, need exactly. It. You go up to an officer and say, "I'm in, in, in <laughs> I mean, I mean, need officer, give me like 250 euros," and they're like, "Yeah, sure, here." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pay me back later. Wait, do you remember who you are or not? No. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> yeah, double, double. <laughs> double. G- here, 500. <laughs> 500 so, is gonna make you remember. So, so he makes it to the hospital where the nurse, uh, the nice nurse, gives him uh, the number. Of a guy who who specializes in finding people. Yeah, and then <laughs> and then the which doctor is said, super sinister if you think about it, because <laughs> that guy again he killed. He was nobody's good in this movie. Was like, Seriously, I'm proud of the, it. the only guy who's good in this movie is the black guy who dies like immediately. Yeah, <laughs> like. <laughs> Not even his psychic was good. She was surprisingly cool with. Anyways, what happened? With yeah. <laughs> but so, so he makes so, he, uh, and then and then he. So now the second scene of our main man, uh, Karl. What is it, Karl Markovic? Yeah. Yeah, Karl Markovic makes it his second scene, and he's like, "Yo, let's do a cat scan," and then, uh, so yeah, he's like, "Yeah, let's do a cat scan." And then uh, they're like, "All right, cool." So he gets into the machine. He's getting the cat scan. And then as he comes out, some sinister-looking motherfucker, who actually we met, we saw before, yeah. but forget it, some sinister-looking yeah, yeah. dude. There's some scenes in there which are completely unnecessary yeah. and we don't need. He really. shows up and he's all, also this guy is like, okay, are, so you're an agent, but he goes up and he's like, it will all be over soon, Mr. Martin. Yeah, so like he it, confirms to the, to the guy yeah, that, that he's seen, not crazy. Yeah, where whereas, he, whereas where if he had not him? if he had not confirmed this to him, yeah. he pr- Liam Neeson most likely would have would have been like, all right, there's a good chance that I'm just I've just yeah. lost my mind and yeah. that you know. Yeah, they but, had but him. he goes and he confirms it to him. So. Also, he was really good at that neck twist thing. Where where he kills two fools, yeah, the 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 the, the bad so, age, so the, the bad bad. So agent. this agent, he walks up and he's like, "You'll be over soon," and he puts some, uh, um, what do you call it, sleeping agent, uh, or knockout agent onto Liam Neeson, and he's about to, and then he puts an IV drip, which I imagine yeah. is some poison, and then as he's doing that, the nurse comes in and she's like, "What are you doing with the patient?" And he's like, "Well, we got some orders to take him uh, to another hospital," yeah. and then she's like, "Well, you need papers for that," and he's like. Oh yeah, here's the papers. And yeah. then she walks towards him, <laughs> and then he's like about to turn, and then he just like takes her arm, turns her around, and he does. This fuck, this I have to the fake is. Fu- I mean, it's not gonna uh, be good, good for, the for the podcast, podcast but, but basically for, for the video, it's gonna be I mean, good. Yeah. Okay, so, so for the Wait, podcast, let's move the mics away. For, for the podcast listeners, just go to Steven Seagal, uh, Breaking Next, and you'll see exactly what we're about to do. So yeah. he, so he, he just he takes her. Turns her around and he just goes, and the and the bitch is dead. She's dead. And he, th- this was literally the the level of force he put. He just like you know, some yeah. ancient <laughs> Chinese like <laughs> magic trick. Yeah, basically. magic trick basically. Because there yeah. was nearly no contact, and you, again you can whip your head yeah. around like this naturally. And then and they add the little like stock, you know, yeah, uh, that neck break. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> And so again, the nurse he is could dead. Have, he could have done that to Liam Neeson while he yeah, was exactly. knocked out. He just killed him and wheeled him out, out as a dead person. Yeah. Just, uh, also, yeah, because... Oh, nah, this... Uh, yeah, that's where he, we begin. No, but we have to put an IV drip. Because, yeah, you know, blah, blah, So anyway, blah. so... I he, think they still try to retrieve him. Like, they think he's still an asset that they can recycle. Maybe, maybe they were not trying to kill him. You're right. You're yeah. right. Maybe they were not trying... Yeah, so... Uh, anyway, so then he does that and then he goes in the back room... To I guess I presume be kill yeah. Karl Markovic or something. I don't know. He's just gone, and then Liam Neeson <laughs> is about to get again. knocked out, and he manages to take out some scissors, cut himself free, and and then he and then he runs away from the guy. Yeah. And this was 
so this was now the second kind of weird scene where he they're running through the hospital and no one and you mentioned this you yeah. were like no one is like hey look at this guy in the you know hospital gown, gown yeah fleeing from fleeing from the scene probably uh, bleeding from his arm yeah like, being being very much like um like somebody chased. who's who's on a at a chase or feels chased because he's hopped on yeah. a lot of drugs like take him down that's not how and he's bumping is. also he's bumping into every he's bumping into every nurse it's the busiest the hospital nurse, ever the, the, like the on nurse that hallway. Just like, oh, this is, yeah oh, this cool. is okay yeah and there's like legit like 30 to 50 people in this hallway yeah. in this chase scene and nobody gives a fuck and this some shit so went down because there was like 15 emergency responsors like ha hauling in like this movie this <laughs> movie for unknown reasons we again for yeah. unknown reasons but this still, is a bad movie nevertheless the movie is still doing all right at this point but despite the fact that the scene is pretty <laughs> pretty you know yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. because we still not we still not haven't re we, it hasn't been revealed to us what the actual fuck is going yeah. on because then we actually have a the only real proper fight scene let's be honest and that's in the in the uh, where they are at, uh, at her place at the at uh, ah, Gina's right. place so he finds Diane he, Kruger's he, he, place he uses detective skills to find uh, the taxi driver yeah. who, who when he was in a crash uh, at this point he still thinks that he's a dr david harris or yeah whatever. why does he have those skills uh, he can't tap into them because that would or is it segmented where with again is it a born thing where you can still fight and everything and crack open locks and everything but you don't remember anything else but in this case you also remember your fake backstory if you're this is just one level removed from being a Bond movie. If Again, I want I have to reiterate. This ha this is like <laughs> they went one like they they did a, l a lot of cocaine off of a Bond while reading the Bond <laughs> screenplay and they're like, "Oh, we can make it better. Like one level better. <laughs> Let's just put one level of bullshit over a pretty <laughs> decent premise and then yeah, it's going to totally work, it's man." Like a, it's like a Bond born movie. <laughs> yeah. And you would think that that's intriguing. Th yeah, that that's intriguing. But like they just took uh, either. The, I don't know. It's the, just no, the aspects are fine, but the execution is so poor. Yeah. And the reveal is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my noise anyway, that so I'm going to make right, for, so, for, for the so final he finds the, he finds the taxi driver who's this yeah. like who's this young, uh, good looking. S uh, spunky, <laughs> Ooh, spunky, 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 gypsy, spunk, spunk, gypsy some spunk in there. I like it. Spunky, gypsy, uh, illegal immigrant, and um, he he asks her uh, to to basically explain to him what happened on the day that the crash happened. Yeah. But also, can I stay at your place because here's, I a, five, no here's a five thousand euro watch. By the way, we I never got the payoff with the watch. No, 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 we did, we did. Oh. You you were writing something during that, but I'll yeah. uh, I'll let since oh, I'll shit. let that be a surprise. Since okay. You, since the entertainment value of this movie was so low, I'm gonna try and build up <laughs> some entertainment for you by leaving that as a surprise. Oh, thanks, thanks, buddy. Uh, yeah, they had the apartment and the agent, the counter agent. The count, which, uh, <laughs> okay, so remember how throughout the movie, yeah, you kept on saying, uh, and I agreed with you. You kept on saying that there's a tracking device in the watch. In the watch. Yeah, that makes sense. Right. Yeah. But there wasn't a tracking device oh, in the watch. Oh come on! So how the fuck did the agents find this? This apartment. Every time. No, no, not not, not just this. No, every because time. Because this one, they kind of could have found that out. They could have gotten into the police records, found the license plate of the car, find out where that... Uh, that where the illegal immigrant where, is registered? No, where the work is. Go to the work, interrogate somebody there, find out her address get, and get it that way. Like, I, f I think there is a way how they could found, uh, okay, found okay. that. So yeah. I'm, I'm fine with that. What I'm not fine with is that they keep on finding him yeah keep on finding him and her like they they deus ex machina, machina themselves into into a situation the villains where it's like and it, he always escapes he always fucking and escapes so this, this is for me the worst thing about this movie is yeah. that is that um uh is that he's sitting it's sitting there and it's you know it's got like the uh what do you call it the 
you know, it's got the intrigue going and, yeah. and stuff. And then all of a sudden, these guys come in and they burst in and then they're searching the apartment and then he escapes to the roof and it's still slow and methodical and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, he comes back to the window, yeah. has like a, a five minute fight scene with this guy, like, yeah. which just drags on for agents ages and it's like all the music is like dur, dur, dur. it's like yeah, now it's really super pumped, intense super intense and then they run off they get in a taxi oh they managed to kill the one guy then they get off <laughs> get in the taxi and there's this car chase scene for 10 minutes oh yeah and all of a sudden from this like really cool low-key you know intrigue, lost identity yeah. intrigue movie you've gone into this car chase like loud i can they're driving, on the, they're driving in this on the sidewalk and you're thinking like dude like the Berlin police is not okay. Maybe their own. Fi I don't know what the reputation well, is, no, but no, they're they, not so useless. No, that they're gonna let cars drive yeah. on the sidewalk for yeah for 20 in the minutes. middle of Berlin, not even the outskirts. You yeah. know, it's like right in the center. Like, there, at there's some a point, shit ton of people. At some point, the, like Somebody, one car is is going in the wrong lane, and the other car is going parallel on the yeah. sidewalk, and they're just like. Looking at and each other, other. Oh, and it's I, like I wrote, yeah, yeah, I wrote down something for for for, for oh sound God. because it's, there was something with that. And it's just like, dude, like, yeah. like uh. the the you back in the day you could do this, yeah, but you can't do this shit. <laughs> if any of us try that yeah. shit for even a second, the police is gonna be like on our asses, they, and they'll block off the road. And then once you get out, they'll be like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, exactly. Like, have you lost your identity and some <laughs> secret agent? Is because otherwise, there's no reason to do this. But unknown reasons. Exactly. <laughs> unknown <laughs> reasons. Exactly. Oh god, damn it. No, and they. Okay, so they. they <laughs> That chase scene, though, ended in a double tram accident, fake out, and then real crash. Yeah, and like both the tram so drivers, hilarious. Both the tram drivers were like these out of shape idiots who like, who <laughs> like when a they vision, went, a vision when, of like tw twenty centimeters. When the when the crash is about to happen, yeah. they show the frame where the the train driver is like, yeah, <laughs> and it's like, bro, you didn't realize like, like. 300 meters For away the that they shoot, that it was a with... very surprised dumb look yeah when when, when the crash is about to happen we yeah and it was such it was like a comedy editing of all of all things because they <laughs> the tram crashes into the car that's been flipped over yeah. and they they're like oh no this is like the modern equivalent of being tied to the tracks you know yeah. and in this case it's a tram and also that tram went with the speed of light. <laughs> yeah. Like that was a fucking fast tram. <laughs> he was tram. not giving a shit, man. He was, that uh... tram was fast <laughs> as fuck. I was I was fucking surprised how fast that that tram was. I legit. I was legit. I was legit uh, impressed by how. <laughs> like when I was there the last time, that was like twelve years ago. I think I was in Berlin, and I'm. <laughs> yeah, we need more wine for this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> and mm, uh, to this. Today's support drink is wine because at least we are classier, classier than this movie is. Indeed. Yeah, we're, sla and, and we're slamming we're slamming a six-year-old movie. So. Sponsorship. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, sponsors. Wait, actually, wine. Not do that. Wine sponsors. <laughs> off off-brand popcorn and off-brand wine. Just you know, the two the two snacks that keep you alive and healthy. All right. So then, insane so while flipping, you're doing movies like this, flipping, uh, flipping again. Those trams were like they 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 strapped rocket engine to those <laughs> trams. Like the last time I was there, it was the the trams were normal, like in Vienna, you know. And those trams in the <laughs> in the in the in the movie, they were like again, they they were Mad Max style trams at this at this point, and they never come into play again. <laughs> yeah. No, it's one off short thing with trams done. Yeah, so, but uh, then the. So. Was there a product placement too? The trams? The, the trams, I guess. <laughs> uh, Siemens just gave them a bunch of money <laughs> to put a tram in this and see that it just can destroy a German made car. <laughs> or I, I'm sure that the, that the German uh, government, who probably paid for half the movie, they were like, but can you please put our trams inside as yeah. well? You know, this would be. Yeah. <laughs> It's like one of our uh, yeah. trademark things, yeah. you know, you know trams. The, 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 I'm sure the tourismus will go right up if you show our trams. Just yes. show how fast and yeah. good and also how... Yeah, how the public uh, how transit is and, really good. And also how our drivers have the best reaction times. <laughs> <laughs> 
and I guess the 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 producers were like, we can do two out of three. <laughs> we can show the speed, the trams themselves, or or the reaction time. Two out of three, and they're yeah. like, yeah, fuck the reaction time. Yeah. Yeah, no one cares about that. Put anyways. two dum dums in yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Just put two, two. We've got two guys. Yeah. Yeah. I have a cousin. And another cousin, they have who are actually yeah. also brothers and yeah. also father and son, <laughs> and they and it's they, a very traditional. It's a very fan. traditional. Yeah, <laughs> they would be great for these scenes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's let's just move on to the end of the movie because fuck it. Because okay. at this so, point, the intrigue is mostly gone. Yeah. So then a bunch of shit happens. Lots of really, chasing. really a bunch of shit happens. But it is one it, scene that I really liked, even though it was, it had a. I liked it, but they could have done it much better. It came, yeah. yeah, was the scene when so an old friend of Liam Neeson's uh, yeah. shows up because he's been calling him and stuff, and he's like his best friend and things. Yeah. That old friend shows up in the po- and then he calls uh, our Stasi uh, guy who's on the case. You know, yeah. in the background he's on the case trying to figure out, and he finds out that possibly they're trying to kill. We left so much out. That, the, 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 the Stasi tra- guy, though, was, the Stasi was guy, useless at the end. At the end. But he finds out that basically there's a conference which Liam Neeson was supposed to go to. And they were trying to kill so, some guy, some Arabian, Saudi Arabian prince who's like really for green and stuff. He's, he's, he's Whatever he's for. I don't get his stand. D- people are trying liberal. to kill him. Very, Re- yeah, exactly. yeah, he's very liberal. Yeah. And a guy yelled Alu Akbar and tried, tried to, to kill him. him. Yeah, yeah, tried to kill Because he's really like... Uh, forward and stuff so people are trying to kill him so then they they figure okay and then so then this guy shows up this old dude and uh-huh. he and he goes to the apartment of uh uh the the german detective because the german detective said come over and help us you know with this case and the german detective they make it clear that he knows that this old friend is actually in on whatever conspiracy yeah. is going on because he he gets his Re- like his hidden special tea beutel, yeah, which yeah. is like the point you know tea bag, yeah. the tea bag and like it's like one tea bag so you know yeah. what it's for and uh and he's from the stasi which you know they, yeah uh, they were famous for the cyanide for the cyanide yeah exactly, yeah yeah exactly. so so tasty way better than any cyanide they made the cyanide taste like coca-cola you know did they really <laughs> no i <Okay>. don't know <laughs> It's like a brause tablette, <laughs> like a hoi brause, you know, a yeah, hoi brause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a, it's a pop rocks. <laughs> they made it taste like pop Coca Cola pop okay, rocks. Okay, right. <laughs> mm, the fizzle. <laughs> <laughs> At least uh, you have a great taste when you're dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Taste, yeah. yeah, make it. You know, <laughs> we made f- death fifty percent more pleasurable. <laughs> you're still gonna suffocate on your own spit and vomit, but. <laughs> At least you'll have great. a great taste yeah. by the end of it. Yeah, yeah, so. You're like, oh, this is so... <laughs> He's like, I wanted Fanta. No. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Why is there no Sprite option? <laughs> <laughs> so then... Uh, <laughs> so they have this scene uh, where they... Um, uh-huh. Where they meet up and uh, basically the uh, the sh- uh, Hitler or hi- in the show he's called in the movie he's called Jürgen Jürgen <laughs> Jürgen 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 Mi- with Jürgen. last name they have a first name as a last name. last name exactly exactly fucking a Jürgen so he he um he's like uh, and this was lame as hell they should have done a better job about this but he's like yeah when we were in the Stasi, we had about a secret elite european unit called sector 13 yeah and say what or the 44 greatest kids or whatever it was 13 i remember yeah. oh. <laughs> you remember the shitty name that they came up with Dude, there was there were like four things i have to remember for this movie and this was one of the even my brain capacity <laughs> is enough to remember okay one of the, good good so good. he's like sector 13 the greatest killers ever no one knew who they were blah 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 and it was a cool scene because both the actors were very good yeah yeah. And it was a cool thing because it's like, you know, one, like an old school Cold War, Eastern, uh, from spy. the Eastern thing, yeah. spy meeting like an old school Western spy, you know, yeah. and, like, and like these old school guys meeting. But then like for him to have Googled, uh, for him to have heard of this one agency back in the day, and then all of a sudden it just happens to be the same agency yeah. that, that like 
it's, it's targeting him. it tar- targeting this dude uh-huh. who just happens to come to him because a nurse is like i know this guy and quick then- history lesson during the cold war there were a shit ton of secret agencies <laughs> Like that's not that, just one that you heard yeah, about. This, and is, this is like some lame writing to make him look like oh he's really top. I brass. mean, it was good shit. It just you have to do it in a different way. You can't do it that like that. Th- that like it, one time I heard about this. And okay, that just, makes something clear now. Of the Cold War memorial that drove by at the beginning. Uh, right, that yeah. was also foreshadowing. Uh-huh. Yeah. There was some foreshadowing. Yeah. In it. Yeah. Oh no, they put effort in this piece <laughs> of garbage. Yeah, but is it really necessary to foreshadow such a thing? No, totally not. But it's still, they thought of it. They thought of it, that's true. And then put it in the movie. They thought of things and then they filmed it. (laughs) And they were like, let's hope it works. Yeah, let's see if it's a movie. Yeah, let's let's see if it's a movie and let's see what's up. (laughs) Like, Frank, Frank, what's up, Carl? Frank, uh, I, I I I I think I have a movie here. Really, Carl, have you checked? I'm... I'm not sure, but I I, wrote, I I took like four four quaaludes yesterday, <laughs> and I wrote like 160 pages. And I don't know, man. I think it's a movie. Can you take a look at it? Yeah, but should I do quaaludes as well? Yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> let's do that at the same time and read it. Oh man, this is such a good movie. Let's produce the shit out of this one. It's like it's like uh, I've got a movie here, uh, uh, Carl, and then he's like. Well, reasons does of, it, for the existence do, do, of this movie he's like do, unknown he's like do do the things do things happen yes do the things make sense do they work no <laughs> well one out of two isn't bad so yeah. let's just and we have some amazing actors who are trying to sell the shit out of some of the scenes the one thing though is that since 2010 yeah and now like you could really like write hot shit and and uh, and just put Liam Neeson onto it. Yeah. And it would, it, you know, it's it's still passable. You know, it's still over fifty percent just because Li- Liam Neeson is in it. You know, yeah. so this movie is actually a five percent. But oh, yeah. just because Liam Neeson's yeah. in it, yeah, it's got, it's got the got Liam five, Neeson bump. Exactly the fifty yeah. percent bump. You know. Yeah, and so. the and the Hitler bump. Right. Yeah. The because Hitler Bruno Ganz is yeah, in exactly. it, and I mean, <laughs> he looks like. Like Hitler actually survived the war. Yeah, and, and became and, and an underground Stasi <laughs> agent. And he just shaved off his mustache. <laughs> and he took some experimental drugs to stay alive for another... Like, he must be 110 at this point. So... <laughs> He just kept. On I am the oldest Nazi alive. Yeah. yeah. And wasn't it amazing how he kept on coughing to foreshadow his death? Yeah, the coughing not really came into play. Well, he it, just, it was it like, just oh, like, I'm really old and stuff. Um, so yeah, don't be sad when I die. Again, he. <laughs> there's no man behind the old guy, the evil old guy. Why didn't he just take him out? He must have had a gun in there. Just try at least. Not that's true. Bitch, bitch out and kill yourself from the get go. And like, the like thing as is, a, that's just a fuck you. You know, you're like, you want to extract some information? No, screw you. I'm that's killing true, you myself. It's Instead the best. Of trying to it's kill. the best scene in the movie, and there's just so many holes in it <laughs> that make it. It's a, like a, a Swiss shit scene. cheese. I think that what was Bruno Ganz was aiming for as a Swiss actor, he was just aiming. I'm making this work, but it is like a Swiss cheese. There's a lot of emptiness that doesn't taste like nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Why is he French all of a sudden? I don't know, but it's Bruno Ganz. I'm yeah. Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mean, so Hitler. Anyway, so then, so then that shit. So basically the big boss of the conspiracy has arrived. Yeah. He kills the detective. Or no, sorry. He watches the detective die. And then uh, they, they, he, also, ca- he finds Liam Neeson. Uh-huh. And then he says... Together with the u- most useless henchman of all the time. The most useless henchman of all time. They taser his ass, put him in a, in a dark van. Yeah. The totally not conspiracy. Yeah. Uh, like at a very public place. At a very public the, place. Where no, like 20 people could have watched Apparently the Berlin again. police is fucking useless because they don't <laughs> see anything. They don't hear anything. Yeah, they're it's like sh- the free mo- monkeys. Hear no evil, speak no yeah, evil, exactly. see no exactly. evil. They're just like, well, I guess the shit is going down in our city. <laughs> We're just going to fucking sit there's here no and take cr- it. There's no crime in Berlin. You yeah. know, v- Berlin is famous for not having any crime at all <laughs> exactly. exactly there weren't like a shit ton of agents for the most part of the cold war there trying to counter infiltrate nothing, each other nah nothing nothing they're like oh the 
Wall's down. I guess our job's over. We're yeah. just all going to go into retirement now. Yeah. There are no, there are no gangs anymore. Yeah. yeah. Where's the, where's the Berlin police have any, such high pitched Oh, look voice. at that. He's, he's uh, driving on the sidewalk. Well, that's, well, gee, look at that. That's, that's pretty cool. Well, are you trying to do Mickey Mouse at this point? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're all like, they act like fucking Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Oh, so why why not give them the Mickey Mouse voice? I yeah, mean, that's true. That's true. Let's let's kill let's kill some let's kill some bad guys. Goofy. Oh, oh. Yeah. And I mean, apparently the Berlin police doesn't understand German. They only speak English <laughs> because yeah. because at Mind least a hundred people oh, yeah. must have fucking called the German police and be like, "There's fucking people driving on the sidewalk." Kill, on the causing, fucking causing on the Straßenbahn yeah. Schiene, yeah. you know, almost causing shit, blowing shit up, and the police was like, "Well, well, I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time understanding your language because <laughs> we just haven't done shit in so long that we just decided to learn English and not our native language, so we're not understanding what you're doing, so we're not gonna stop the cars, okay? We're just gonna sit, yeah, in our fucking police headquarters and do nothing about it." All right, yeah. Oh, by the way, move a little bit closer for the video. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My excitement. I'm just like. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like sliding moving more. Away from the movie. <laughs> You're removing uh, myself from, from this. The, the whole experience of the movie. It's like. <laughs> yeah, make you withdraw. Yeah. yeah so, so yeah, fuck the plot. We're done with the plot. Yeah. This is this is. It's a whole pile of garbage. Oh yeah, it's, uh, it's Gina well, it, kills, it, uh, kills the the bad guy. Yeah, and okay. the other bad so, guy. So look, when it becomes really shit is when yeah. when uh like really really like diarrhea shit <laughs> yeah. is when is when uh exactly they, they, they make like they do eating, a twist. The, they the, do the a twist. The beginning is like you're eating a delicious Indian meal. It's something you're not expecting. <laughs> it's something mysterious. There's some strange flavors in there that you're not expecting, and you're like, oh, this is funny. <laughs> this is good. And but what you don't know is that the chicken that's in that meal has been on the, uh, sitting in the sun for like two weeks and you're getting food poisoning and slowly as the movie progresses you're like oh oh shit oh literally i gotta shoot Dude, now i gotta take a dump it's now. like it's like you're you've been served mutton tikka yeah so lots of sauce yeah little pieces of mutton yeah. in there and you're eating and it's amazing and you're about to have the last piece of mutton and you put it in your mouth and instead of a piece of mutton, it's a piece of shit. <laughs> and that's how they wanted to sign that's you how, off that meal. Yeah, that's how By you, you eating a little thing. nugget of shit, yeah? And that's what they did in this movie. It was it was good. It was curry. You know, it was like, it was tasting good. It was juicy. Yeah. It was nutritious, you know? And then the, li the last piece was a piece of shit that they tried to pass off as a piece of meat. And you could taste yeah. it, okay? Yeah, if you, if you have a really nice chocolate cake. And somewhere in this chocolate cake is a piece of shit. Yeah. You're not going to eat the exactly. chocolate cake. Yeah. Don't eat but, the chocolate but cake. It looks, but it looks like chocolate cake. Oh, it looks so like So you do eat it. Yeah. Which is what we did because we watched the movie. You do eat it. And then you're like, well, yo, why'd you put a piece of shit in my <laughs> chocolate cake? And they were like, whoa, <laughs> you paid for it. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> this is, the producers are also Mickey Mouse. Yeah, yeah. They're also everyone involved in this fucking movie is, is Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Mouse. Every yeah, single person. Let's do it, guys. <laughs> no, fellas. Ha -ha. <laughs> so, so anyway, so what fucked this movie let's up? Let's try to destroy Liam Neeson's the, career again. Ha -ha. There was a, there was a twist, which was a cool twist, which was yeah. he never was that person that he yeah. that he thinks he is. Nor is the person so who is now stupid. that doctor that fucking that person bump either. on the head was enough. The bump what, on the head made him. What shit training him. are they using? So on he's him? a secret agent who takes yeah. up different uh, personalities, and L legends, the bump yeah. on his head uh, caused him to believe he was that person. Yeah. That's the twist, which is a pretty cool twist. Until <laughs> they do another twist, which redirects this movie from being a good movie. To being a bad movie, so they did the the double twist, which is yeah. a bad idea because usually a twist turns a bad movie. Yeah, into yeah, 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 exactly. Page, you know? Yeah, what M Night Shyamalan yeah. was y used to be good at, exactly, and is kind exactly. of good at again. It's a, when you, when you do a twist, it's like you're walking down the street, and then you you do a twist, you turn, and yeah. now you're walking in the right direction. But if yeah. you do the double twist, you're back you're where you You're looking like started. a fool. You're looking, you're looking like, like a fool, fool yeah. and you're walking back down where you came from, which is never where you want to be going. Yeah. So there's a little bit of philosophy for you guys. Yeah, <laughs> especially because 
who takes out two of the most feared, apparently feared, secret agents in the world. A woman and, let's be fair, a really skilled woman at murdering, yeah. but a, just a regular-ass cab driver as her profession. She takes out two of them. Technically three. She kills the other dude as well. You know? That's true. We never... She kills three people. Why does why does she know that that little pokey thing was a killing device? Oh, because the tri guy tried to use it on you her. You used it on her, yeah. Yeah, and then Liam Neeson came in. Right. But right. what if it was like a like a feel good gas or something? Yeah, just a knockout thing. Maybe that's what she believed. She's like, yeah. no, they're just gonna try to capture me. Well, she did. I mean, and then she's just like injecting him oh with God. it. And Guys, there's just so PSA, many levels. PSA, to PSA this. don't don't inject people with random substances yeah. where you don't know what their effects are. Because at this point, maybe maybe she really thought it was not. Don't do juice. anything that happened in this movie. I think that good you idea. should be good. Yeah. Good idea. Also, Liam Neeson is bad. His character is bad. He's a he's an he's a he's a secret agent for a clandestine organization that tries to manipulate the exactly. market. Exactly. So again, are they are they just in there for the money? Is I that, guess so. I mean, is they were money the ultimate motivation of the whole thing. The client. They were working for a client. So yeah. <sighs> Yeah, it was pretty, oh. and what was lame as fuck was that their target was not this, like, uh, Arab prince, who, by the way, is, he had the cuntiest face I've ever seen. We wanted life. him to blow up. We wa I wanted him dead. <laughs> when he showed up, I was, how are you supposed to feel sympathy for this fucking he looks guy? He, he's portrayed at the beginning as the nicest guy. They don't show any photos, or, they show photos of him where he's always at a meeting or something, doing something, some cool shit, and we're like, all right, we can forgive the fucking toilet toilet seat uh, ma uh mustache that you he don't has. see it at the beginning yeah you no that at the, at the you see at the pictures that they show of him oh, you like see it okay yeah, yeah, yeah you okay, see that yeah. in the far away yeah. and you're like i'm, I'm okay with this yeah. and then his in entrance is in like a lamborghini with like 10 hot ladies how do they fit in that lamborghini by and the way and he's got this fucking cunt face fucking smile oh, he looks like a uh, shit eating grin he is the epitome of a shit eating grin like this is I'm I'm the best human being that has ever been created. Why am I mean, a Texan all I, of a I, sudden? I don't doubt that Prince Shada of Saudi Arabia is is a bad. Shut up by your face. Person. You know, is shut it, up by your exactly, face. That should have been his. But I mean, name. if a fucking guy like is showing up to a con uh, an environmental conference in a fucking Lamborghini with like teleporting doors and ten <laughs> fucking. Yeah. Ten, like you saw those doors, yeah. it was nuts, and then the fucking ten uh, ladies, ladies following him around. I mean, like, bro, g good on you, you know, showing yeah. up in style. But like, you do that when you're going into, you know, a, a fucking casino. nightclub or a casino, not when you're showing up for a, an conference. environmental conference, and <laughs> you're supposed to feel bad about this yeah, guy. He's, he's throwing out like he's like. Vroom vroom bitches Like Fuck the planet yeah. But at the same time I'm trying to save the yeah, planet Yeah exactly And he's got this like Fucking smile Like oh, it's a fuck. <laughs> he's, he's He's like the Saudi version Of Martin Shkreli <laughs> Exactly If Martin Shkreli Was actually a good guy But still had the same face Yeah This is what came out Exactly like, the face Guys if you don't know Who Martin Shkreli yeah. is uh, Google him Martin like Martin and then Shkreli like the sound when you step on somebody's nuts Shkreli <laughs> Shkreli uh, so anyway so then that double twist happens he, the, he remembers all his shit yeah the fucking stu his stupid wife who's, a se who's one of the best secret agents ever yeah. she's too dumb to uh, di disarm, the bomb disarm the bomb that she herself planted that she herself planted so she fucking dies like an idiot yeah and then uh, the, the guy who's pretending to be him he they have this fucking fist fight and he basically two beats the crap two old men fighting two old men fighting two old men fighting no, and a middle aged guy fighting an old guy that's what this fight yeah. is. It was really, it was lame as fuck. It took too long. And, uh, and the symbolism at the end with the mirror. The that mirror. he breaks the mirror and uses the shard. And then also like how she grabs his <laughs> hand and he drops the shard and it's... Why fuck. is he good? Don't watch this movie. <laughs> Don't watch it. No, watch the first hour and then just stop. And imagine yourself a better end. That way... <laughs> I don't know. I would I, like there's movies which have the exact same plot uh -huh. as you mentioned, The Born, all of them. Yeah. <laughs> which are all better. And also, I mean, you can watch Salt, which is the exact same shit. And way better. And way better. Way have you better. seen Have you seen the director's cut edition? 
it adds like 30 minutes and it makes like it's I a pro- r rated then i have to watch that because i it's only it's so good i watched it uh, close to when it came out and i yeah really I, liked I watched it. both i of thought them. i was so unhappy because uh the uh, trailer they, showed way more no not well that but yeah. uh i wasn't actually that that was fine for me but for me uh, i was really unhappy because they wanted to do a franchise but it never uh, took yeah. off enough so yeah, yeah, but no, that salt is really good. Yeah, at, I like at, salt. No, and I like it, salt, no, yeah. I love salt because again, I saw the director's cut version first, and then the normal that. version, and yeah. I'm like, oh, you messed up bad because yeah. they, the, the, I think the studio only wanted to. We are already talking back about a different day, movie. Back in We're the day, we're talking about an all different movie. Yeah. Let's go back to this one. That's true. But, because I, I know how enticing it is to look at something that's better, but we have to look at what's in front of yeah, us. Yeah, we have even to, though what's we, in front of us is a chocolate. We cake ordered with the chocolate. We ordered the co- chocolate cake with a. We piece paid of for shit. it. <laughs> yeah, we, we saw the signs. So by de- and by God, them. by God, we will eat it. Yes, we pay for it, and by God, we are. Red-blooded yes. Europeans, Red-blooded Canadians, Europeans. we're gonna, we're gonna eat what we paid for. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So let's move on to cinematography. I think this is gonna be short. Close-up shots because uh, zoom and pan shots. Zoom and pan. Lots of. Uh, we try to be born, but we aren't. No, uh, very few like 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 expansive setup shots. It was just basically. Oh, we're here, and there's a street. Oh, we're in the hotel, and now we're in an apartment, nightclub. Uh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> you know? And I, it, uh, the, I only, the only the only expensive shots yeah. were at the beginning uh, with the airport, and at the end with the city. So that yeah. was it. Oh, and 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 we have we had the zoom and enhance cliche, <laughs> oh, no. which was double useless at this best. point. Because it didn't even do uh, an increase in resolution. Well, it did an increase in resolution, which is physically impossible. This yeah, that's this doesn't possible. work. Yeah, doesn't work yeah. that way. And and then also we already cl- clearly saw the faces we we were supposed to see. And then you're like, here, dum dums, <laughs> we make it larger for they you. They literally like go into Microsoft Word, type in a word, and then zoom in from hundred percent to hundred ten percent. This was like what they did, you know. So, uh, so yeah, so the yeah. cinematography and then the zoom and enhance. Then there was they, one, they, one then more. The security pop up. <laughs> you want to explain it for the for the English speaking so, audience? So, what uh, happened? Because it was in German. So, so let's just no. Say you what. you have to say it because okay. were, you picked it up. So it was okay. Your thing. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that was great. It was so they had they sh- looked at the security footage of the hotel from several angles and in 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 one in one frame they fucked up and. <laughs> It said, ref- "You don't have the newest version of your antivirus. Please update." And did we're it like, say McAfee or did it say? It said McAfee. It said McAfee. And like McAfee would have never paid for that. Yeah. Like that they're like, "No, we we have an automatic update feature. Please don't sh- shut up, <laughs> shut up." You know. <laughs> and it, it is just clearly like, oh, we didn't have any. We just are in an actual hotel and we're just filming the real thing so that wherever they filmed that we have to hack into a, the, their security system because they apparently don't even fucking update the make <laughs> and the virus software oh, oh that, was so that was but brilliant it's brilliant. amazing i mean that hotel had they had camera uh oh they had the fuck you passwords oh yeah oh, fuck <laughs> those passwords yeah okay but we're in cinematography yeah they're a, visual okay yeah they, Oh, that OS that she was using. Like, they're like... Uh, we Windows 3.x. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but with, like, some really sick filled, uh, really sick skins yeah. from, like, the, the late 90s. Uh, and then her copying. Uh, three minutes left. Two minutes left. Oh, yeah. Complete. Had- it was oh, so yeah. fucking stupid, man. Onto a four gigabyte hard drive. Yeah, it was so silly. Yeah, because, uh, again, how do you copy biogenetic research off of a phone that he doesn't already have publicly released because to have the raw data you you have to have the raw data to verify all the work that has been done i mean not only that i mean this is so stupid like the like the secrets to a genetic thing every and it's only con yeah but like every scientist 
it, th- no scientist is like doing secret work. Every scientist has to publish their shit. Yeah. Because that's the only way you get funding. Yeah. Or if he also, had found, he's gonna have a backup of that somewhere. Exactly. And well, that's why they wanted and to kill him. And co-researchers. That's why they, they co-researchers. Want- Nobody's working exactly. alone at that scale. Exactly. Uh, working alone. There's, there's twenty reasons why this that, doesn't uh, th- work. Why it's so stupid to copy so- a scientist's crop genetic ID. And then kill him and be like, well, no, we can sell it. Because <laughs> that's fucking horse shit. That just, yeah, you know? That's so stupid. The difference between someone who makes money off something and someone who doesn't make money off something is marketing. So all this <laughs> secret agent bullshit is a waste of time and money. You, they would have been better They're served to spend so much to, money yeah. to to spend all their that's that like top Asian old man who died. Yeah. Who was like, I got to spend time with my family. Apparently, he's like the guy who makes the most money and whatever yeah. gets their contract. He should have taken all his money 10 years, 15 years ago and spent it into mar- and invested it into marketing because then he would have been a cajillionaire yeah. compared to the whatever amount he's making as this, <laughs> this fucking like shitty spy business where he's got the most useless spies working for him, except for Liam Neeson, who yes. happens to be the yes. one who fucks the whole thing up. Yeah, you know? <laughs> by being bumped on the head. Exactly. Why, why is the... <laughs> Why is this and uh, why is this agency still existing? They seem like the most inept fools. They're ever. idiots. They should have fucking taken all the money they made. Yeah. When when the Cold War was on and being like, which is probably what all spy agencies did. They were yeah. like, oh wait, spying is fucking useless. No. Let's yeah. let's just fucking Cash invest in. their money into fucking internet mar- or like just marketing. Yeah. Or or, or, or like put- oh, oh I have I have. I know a stash where the Russian government kept like uh, a yeah. million guns. Exactly. I'm going to sell those on the black market. Exactly. Bing, bang, Gun. boom. I'm and done. that's my retirement. Yeah. Finished. Yeah. You don't need like it's there's no actual fucking reason to be a spy agency in the 20, 20 fucking first century. Except you know? if you're employed by the state and you're patriotic, but not like yeah. rogue. Yeah. Not but this even kind then, of rogue Even agency. then all you're doing is With like, that shitty of a plan. All you're doing as a spy these days is being like, oh, I'm hey, googling this, something. This guy, sorry, yeah. this guy is uh, really important. Uh, and then you call your tech guys, and you're like, "Can you like hack his Facebook so that we have some dirt on him?" Yeah, that's basically all spies are doing these days. Yeah, spy, and then, like back in the day, and spy maybe shit was, sometimes like, "Oh, let's 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 just send an extraction team, kill him off very efficiently, clean everything, yeah. and he's just gone." Yeah, F- just gone from the face of the earth. N- now these days, yeah, okay, but like, do you even need to do that now? Now you all, all you need to do is get a video of this guy like having sex with, you um, know, uh, a, 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 a she male, no, 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 no. and you fucking ruin the guy's career. That's it. And that she male turns out to be just be made out of cocaine. Exactly, just, exactly. Like, you and know, then he's you've got, just and having then, sex with a pile of cocaine. He's yeah. like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> a I'm pile rocking, of I'm rocking with a dick. this. Yeah, a pile of cocaine with a dick, <laughs> yeah. and then, and then you've got the guy. Like the yeah. guy's career is ruined. You don't need to do like back in the day. This shit was important. You need yeah. to spy. You need to find out what the guy was doing, what information he yeah, had. All his info was in his head. Yeah. You had to fucking torture him, maybe. Yeah. Or maybe so, just so intrigue much, him. So much work. Yeah. It was so much work. work. And now you don't need to do shit. You all you need to do is call your fucking tech geek guys. Yeah. All these guys with zits and their you know yeah, fucking hack the phone, hack the fucking phone, and and you've got it. You know, yeah. you've got the little video of him like putting a toothbrush up his butt or something, and. You know, you've got the guy. He's going to have to have a clean pu- clean butthole, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And, and I'm everything, everything. Out the, I'm only using butter dent. <laughs> butter dent. <laughs> Wait, more... more uh, <laughs> uh, um, 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 what, what was it? Uh, Clara uh, Seal, but for asses. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Asses Seal. Do you want... Uh, are you finishing off the wine? Yeah. Let's finish off the wine. Yeah, because we're an hour into this now. And I think... I think we... Yeah, let's move on. Yeah, fuck the sound. Fuck fuck it. Because there were some horror effects. Uh, I mean, Liam Neeson has... Uh, Liam Neeson has that cool voice. Still. I think sound, sound, we can basically say, look... The only f- funny thing was the Berlin disco. Yeah, like... D- like, seriously... Oh, wait. The whispering sorry. to each other and... Sound... Yeah, so whispering to each other in the disco, bullshit. Uh, Liam Neeson's gravelly voice, amazing. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why this movie was good. Mm. Um, what speak else? Speak the truth, uh, man. They, they, the, Ali, the, the, speak the, the truth. <laughs> Alu Akbar, speak the truth. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. 
the <laughs> UN. The, so they had to include a, a suicide bomber in a news. 2011, news man. Needs, news clip. Need need 10 years of 9-11. So needs <laughs> to include the bomber, you know. <laughs> suicide clip of a guy uh, blowing himself up and they had to include the Allah <laughs> Akbar. <laughs> It's like the it's like the Islamic it's Islamic Wilhelm scream, you know the Wilhelm scream. No, that's that? it's it's okay. So for the listeners who don't know what the Wilhelm scream is, it's uh, something American audio engineers and in engineers nowadays in in general put into the movie when somebody trips over, falls over, something like that, or falls down a crevice or something. It's like ah, just Google uh. Wilhelm scream. And it's like it's in the Star Wars. Screen. It's in Star Wars. Mm-hmm. It's in a. It's it's like in every famous movie, mm-hmm. nearly every famous movie. And like the the Alu Akbar is basically the Wilhelm scream of the, the modern Islam, day of the Islam. modern day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alu Akbar, boom. You know. So um, nothing happens. See, that's a sketch I want to see. I want to see <laughs> just people yelling out Alu Akbar and then just doing nice things. You know. <laughs> Just yelling Alu Akbar, then mowing the lawn. Or yelling Alu Akbar and helping yeah, an old neighbor over the street. That w- the <laughs> Ahmed, the friendly terrorist, you know? I'm just trying to think if my parents have ever said it. but <laughs> Before they did something nice or before they blew something well, up? They, I mean, they cle- <laughs> they're both alive, so they clearly... There was no blowing up involved. Yeah, but the, <laughs> yet. The, fuses, <laughs> the fuses didn't work. <laughs> no, no. We sh- bought some shitty fuses <laughs> off of eBay. <laughs> no, but we got uh, scammed, man. That wasn't dynamite. Those were just hot dogs glued together. Hot time. Uh, yeah, no, but um, no, because I guess generally my parents they don't even. Man, speak that Arabic, west, so. lo- man, that west looks bomb. West because looks of the bombing west that they're carrying, that west looks bomb. Like that yeah, west looks bomb. You're getting either. compliments. Yeah. Two terrorists give give each other mm. compliments on their suicide vests. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, next time we should do a uh, that went nowhere. Like the eh? movie, <laughs> my bomb joke. Uh, <laughs> next time we should do yeah. the uh, the the show uh, the auto cops. Uh, yes, uh, please. Forge. Yeah, with exactly. your mom. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we had that Berlin disco. Where they just talked with each other normally, the two main characters. Good, good Let's main character. On. Let's move on. This movie was bad. Let's move on. Okay. Sound and then. <laughs> You're not even caring yeah. about this. I don't want to hear it anymore about we this sound. We spent too much time yeah. about this on, the sp- on the sound. Best moment. I did write down something, but uh, uh-huh. I've forgotten what it was. I didn't write down shit. Okay. Let me just eliminate it by not good moments. So. The fighting was all shit. The car chase was all shit. Yeah. Um, the only good scene was that one scene, but even that was shit. It could have been better. Better. Um, <laughs> let me think. There was definitely for some me it was the tram crash because it was so comedy. It was like a real comedy moment. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Again, the the tram trams normally on a separate rail travel at maximum at 70 kilometers per hour they're only legally allowed to drive 50 on most parts and only on separate lanes they can drive 70 so but this one was going at least 130 you know this one was one fast tram i think the speed was less in my opinion a less uh less ridiculous that tram transcended time and space dude (laughs) <laughs> the, the who transcended time and space in the sense that they were spaced the fuck out were the drivers. Yeah. <laughs> who, who who only noticed, I mean, we've done the whole rant, but let's just yeah. quickly, who just noticed 10 meters away, the ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, and then the crash. Yeah, yeah. So, fuck yeah. it. Yeah. No more best moments from your side, yeah. right? Yeah, I'll probably, uh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> What's the secret category? <laughs> I mean, we've already addressed both of them because I've, I've written down two to choose, but oh, yeah. we, we, we've bo- covered both of them. So the first one would have been Look at all those unknown skills I have. <laughs> because he's pulling out skills left and right, Liam Neeson's character, when we don't know that he's an agent yet. Like he's super good at driving, like race car level mm-hmm. driver. Like Bond fleeing from the actual police that shows up, not like in this What's movie. What's the second category? And the se- <laughs> 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 yeah. 
<laughs> you're like, nah, okay, let's just, let's just move on. Let's just move on. The next one is, this is a bumpy road full of plot holes. Okay, let's do the first one <laughs> because uh, uh, look at all the unknown skills I have. Yeah. Because I think we have, I mean, is you were mentioning the, the driving, which, yeah. was, which was just insane. Ins like, yeah, he was so good at this. He's a fucking doctor of botanical studies. Yeah, and oh, this category still works because, I'm, I mean, again, there could be this Bond thing where still he keeps still keeps the skills. He doesn't know about them, but when he's doing them, he can you, do them. Yeah, when, so yeah. this is fine, yeah. but Gina also shows those unknown skills yeah. again she's a cab driver fine but she's, she's a also fucking illegal Im immigrant from fucking gypsy land we never Berlin, get explained like who who, who doesn't want to like get caught by the police she's from she's wherever stan she's fucking at the airport yeah not in Dri the middle of fucking nowhere at the airport she's, she's driving, driving like a maniac and, yeah and then and then she has eagle eye eagle eye vision when they take away uh liam neeson's character and she's like spotting them from like a kilometer away up a building while she's driving like a maniac and then she no 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 and then she drives up that building because apparently that has to be him and not some random construction workers you know because at that uh, you need goggles or something to see those people and then they, she drives up and she's just like slamming into the other car killing the one guy like smooshing him against him the, and then pushing the other guy with the car down like she casually just murders two people you, yeah she's like the stone cold again my theory is she's a double agent for the for the, the Russians. double double agent yeah she's like a double agent and she actually works for a counter agency that's about to she, she was actually assigned to just kill them but in this case she was like oh this this worked out fine because we had that accident and now i can actually murder all of them yeah. and live with Pretend that um, yeah and live with familiar. that fool like <laughs> yeah i mean it was just it was ridiculous and then the one thing was also his infinite source of cash yeah how he was just uh he would just have money fucking lying everywhere yeah yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. and then like uh he finds his his uh, thing, and then Paul is like, I, "Yeah, he's he's gonna pay her with his ten thousand euros in the briefcase." And then, lo and behold, two, two seconds, seconds later, later, he pulls out a fucking water, like as if he just had gone to the cash. bank, yeah. And they, you know, nicely like taped it up and shit, yeah. And like he pulls out this wad of cash of totally hundreds. not shady, yeah. totally not shady. And cash. he's just like, "Take this money, yeah. here you go." <laughs> Yeah, it was this fucking organization. You don't know any any way how to spend money. Fuck this. Final conclusion. Yeah, it's um, it's a movie that just. Uh, it is a movie. It's it is a movie. It and is a movie. And it's two fucking hours long. It's too long. They could uh, have cut out. Half they could an have hour. cut out half of it, and it would have been much better. Yeah. 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 And it's two hours, and every minute that passes by you're more and more disappointed mm. uh, and then at some point you're just like what the fuck guys why 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 are we doing this why did you do this and yeah you, you could have done better yeah you could you could have done so much you could have saved money we, and you we done saw better. that you did better by yeah. doing the first half of this why movie. did you smoke pcp in the <laughs> middle of production why did you get addicted to crazy drugs and started r rampaging on the script. Why did you and do then it? force everybody else to suffer through it? Why? I mean, to be fair, they didn't force why us. Why didn't what? Huh? They didn't force us, but yeah, well, kind right. of. Well, when you start a thing and it's kind of good, you want to keep going. Yeah, that's true. You know, or if you put, if you like, put Liam like, Neeson in, you're like you kind that of have bad to. boyfriend. You're like the bad boyfriend or girlfriend that at the at the beginning looks wonderful, but then it turns in, like they, they turn on you and they're horrible people all of a sudden. But you're stuck with them until you can finally end it by them dying. Apparently, <laughs> or oh, this movie ending in this metaphor. You know but what I mean. You know no, what but, I mean. But to yeah. be like we. I mean, it's a shit cake. Again. It's a shit cake, and yeah. and the thing is, it's like, a chocolate cake. It's a shit cake shit. though, where they hid the piece of shit in the middle of the cake, but you could smell that there possibly was a piece of shit. Yeah. While you were eating it, but it just, at some points, it tasted so good that you just had to continue because there were very good things in this. It yeah. just ends up being a piece of shit because yeah. they fucked it up, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, I like how our uh, how our metaphor evolved over the course of the cheers cheers yeah of the review we we are we are after all professionals
exactly. Not like this movie. <laughs> Not like this movie. We could have been better. Well, relations. it was professional shit. I mean, let's give it that. Yeah, high production value. Yeah, yeah they, had, they had too much money. Yeah. They made too much money. I'm sure, dude, I know that the German government paid for half of that <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, VW and, and, and they were like, Volkswagen and, and Mercedes. They were like, put our Deutsche Bahn, which yeah. they did. Yeah. And they made, it the seem, they made it seem okay. And yeah. then they were like, and also put our trams, please. <laughs> <laughs> and, then they, and then they put the trams that they made the trams look like shit. We have, we have like a contract with the German government. We have to make a movie or let's just set it in Berlin. And w who do we have right now? Oh, Liam Neeson has Liam nothing Neeson. to do for two weeks. <laughs> All right, let's shoot this piece of garbage. Done. All right. Ali, thank you for being here. You're Any welcome. plugs? Uh, Where can people find you? No, nothing Nowhere. yet. Nothing yet. Again, but again. You're disappointing me, man. <laughs> I'm sure I'll start an Instagram the next time. By the next time that we, that we've uh, gone, and then I'll 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 plug my Instagram. Yes, I do have an Instagram right now, but it's just uh, to spy on my close friends. <laughs> ah, nice. And possibly yeah. some other people. Okay, but I won't talk about that. Yeah, cool, 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 yeah. cool, 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 cool. But it's the a private I have a Instagram. stalker. First time I have a stalker, and I like it. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you again. Guys, thank you for listening. Don't watch that movie. Watch don't something watch else. Don't watch it. And listen to this podcast. Don't watch the movie. And then listen to this podcast again. Wise words. <laughs> Wise words. Thank you, Ali. Um, see you the next time. Bye.